Okay, welcome back. This is part 17 of my How to Build a Community Site tutorial series. And in the last part, what we did is we fixed a little bug uh, for images. And we uh, were just about to begin um, styling our form elements, our text boxes, and our buttons. Uh, so what we're going to do first is uh, I'm going to put that class on uh, my buttons, the two login buttons and the register button, um, but I'm going to change the class name to button. Pretty simple. And I'm just going to copy it and I'm going to paste it on the uh, login and register and status page and save the pages. Um, so what I'm going to do is on our main, uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to create that text box class. Uh, oops, text box. And like that. Uh, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to duplicate it and create that button class. Now, to style an HTML form element like a text box or a, a login button or a button for in general, um, what you do is you just use normal CSS code. Now, how my site is set up, I don't want to style my text boxes, at least not yet, but I do want to style my buttons. Now, I want to put a border uh, going all the way around my buttons because um, if I um, refresh the page because I was uh, taking a look so you can see the buttons is like this and I don't really like that style uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to throw a border on it and the border is going to be uh, one pixel whoops my num lock is off one pixel uh, it is going to be solid, and the color is going to be black. Whoops. So if I refresh the page, you see we now have this button like this. Uh, I also want to put padding on it, so padding dash top of two pixels. And I'm hit Control D to duplicate the line, and change it to bottom. Control D again, change it to left. Control D again, change it to right. Um, now our left and right sides are going to be about seven pixels. So just like that, save and refresh. So it makes our box, our uh, buttons a little bit bigger, which is uh, how I like my buttons. Ha ha ha. Um, so, but you notice when you hover over like this button in our file, uh, select file, you can see it has a sort of a hover effect. Uh, but if you hover over this, there's no hover effect. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a hover effect. So we're using the hover uh, like we did for our links, except we're using it on our button class. Now we're just going to I'm just going to set a background color, background color, um, and I already have my color chosen out on colorpicker.com. So paste that in, refresh the page, and you can see now when we hover over, we have a, a darker uh, kind of uh, tinted yellow, orangish, brown color. Uh, so just like that. And that's also for all of our buttons. Just like that. So there we go. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make these boxes larger. Um, now to do that, I'm going to go to the register page. I'm going to go ahead and scroll up. And our first name, and our first name box, at the end, after our class, we actually have error right there. Um, at the end of um, our, after our class, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a size, so a size attribute, uh, and I'm going to put it to about 40. Now I'm going to save and refresh, and you can see it's uh, given us this a lot larger box, which is definitely what I want it to be, uh, and that's, I think that's a good size for how I want it to be. Um, actually, I'm going to put it to 35. So 35, and there we go. So that's a lot better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that size attribute, and I'm going to paste it on all of my boxes on the register page. So get that. Now our avatar, we don't need it uh, because it's not going to do anything. And also it's not going to do anything on our bio. So yeah. So you can see we have our text boxes extended out. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll up 
to the form or to the form variable in our table. I'm gonna give uh, this table some cell spacing. Um, if I can sp spell spacing right, of about 10 pixels. So all that's going to do is it's going to spread everything out a lot. So you can see right there, it immediately spreads everything out, which is uh, exactly what I want it to do. <coughs> so that right there, that pretty much, I guess that's uh, for now, that's going to finish my register form and my register page. Um, eventually, I may change it, but I may not. I don't know. Um, so now I'm going to go to the login page. And if I just navigate to the login page real quick... Uh, login dot PHP. So I'm also you can see that our button is also there, uh, just like that. So there we go. I am also going to put the size of 35 on both the boxes. It's a little bit unnecessary, uh, but why not? So it's just going to make our boxes really big. And I'm also going to uh, center that. So I'm going to uh, just put a center tag on the table, Whoops. and just that will center that. Um, now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to throw this login box, um, or the login button, I'm going to throw it up here and also put the register link up here as well, just like we're doing up here in our uh, status. So. I'm going to cut that out, paste it in here, cut that out, and uh, paste it into here, and put in the link to the register page, register.php. So there we go. So we now have our link to our register page, and whoa! I forgot a single quotation mark. So there we go. So we have our uh, login form uh, a little bit better, and it's centered now, so it looks a lot nicer. Um, so that pretty much takes up our login form um, and our login page. Now, up here on our status, we have our username and our password outside of our boxes, or and we have it outside of our boxes, and it takes up a little bit too much space for my liking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some JavaScript and I'm going to make it look real nice and fancy. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and just navigate to the home page real quick. And you can, ooh, huh. Oh, that's why, because it took it to, took us to basicnick.com. Oops. So I'm just going to, there we go. So you can navigate to the home page of my local host um, and we have our box there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close the login and register page and the uh, main.css so all we have is our status now what I'm going to do so I'm going to go off screen here actually I'm not uh, I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to save it out and it's going to be inside of my styles folder and I'm just going to call it javascript.js and that's the javascript extension .js um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to put the code in and then let you copy it down because I believe I have already mentioned this and discussed this in another one of my tutorials so I'm not going to uh, discuss it again uh, so I'm going to pause this and be right back okay so what I've done is inside of this JavaScript file I went ahead and I threw in four different functions now the first function is username box underscore focus then the second is username box underscore blur and then the third and fourth are the focus and blur for the password box. Now, what we're going to do is, what well, what the JavaScript is going to do is, uh, by default, we're going to have our boxes say username and password. And when you enter in them all the username or password, it's going to remove it. And it's going to allow you to type in whatever you want. Uh, and if you don't type anything in or you backspace it and uh, leave it, leave the box, if the value is set to nothing, uh, it's going to automatically put the value back to username. So it's kind of handy. And for the password box, we also change the type uh, from password into password um, from text. So, yeah, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, stop this video here. And in the next video, uh, by the time I start the next video, I will have the code set up for the status page 
so you will be able to do your own. So check out the next part of the series.